Hello, my name is John. My name is Tash. Hi, my name is Jake. And welcome to the Spotlight Podcast, Ashford College. You may be wondering, what is the Spotlight Podcast? It is exactly what it says it is. We are shining a light on the students of Ashford College and perhaps ex-students in the future as well to get an insight on what it's like after you leave college, as well as people from the community that work with the college. I think the first thing we've got to talk about is enrichment. It's a yeah. thing that's very unique to our college. I know, John, you do DJing. Do you want to tell yeah, us a bit about I that? D- I do DJing every time we do enrichment because... DJing is like the first step for each and every musician to learn how to compose songs and change them. And for me, it's easy because I did DJing. Uh, Let's just say I did DJing for maybe three years because before I started calling, I did with my friend. He was a musician. He liked to do like changing the songs and uh, other Mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And he had like a pair sets of DJing sets. So he allowed me to play and teach me. And for me, it was easy Mm -hmm. for the start. Yeah. Yeah, but when I started keep going it and improving my, like, the sets that I had, it was difficult because I I didn't know what songs I had to use every time I do one. Yeah, of course. And I think it's a good thing as well because, like, enrichment kind of gives us the chance to show off what skills we have. It's cool that we've got people like John that are quite talented in what they do. Like, John's a very good DJ and he can share his skills with the rest of the students of the college. Yeah, so what do you do for enrichment, Jake? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, for enrichment, I usually come to the studio. It's a studio workshops here that allow us to develop our skills on the mixing consoles in the band room here where mm. we are. And... Most of the time, I'm usually in the, the control room, which is where the giant mixing table is with all the faders, all the buttons and all that, uh, which is useful to me because in the future, I'm hoping to become a live sound engineer. And even though the studio uh, mixing uh, console is a bit different to one you would find in a live uh, venue, there's still processes and applications of it that you can apply that can be transferable. It's use, It's useful to me. It's. I think from doing this, I've developed a lot. Uh, I don't know about you, John. How would you say your development's been from the enrichments? It was... It, I developed a lot because if be, I, it was my first time in, mm. in performing like in front of people. Yeah. And like before I started DJing, I was like, I was like shy. I was like cooped up in my own space because yeah. I didn't like to speak with nobody. And because the, um, now that I came here and did by the enrollment and everything, it helped me understand how it feels to perform in front of people. Yeah. And it was a little bit, like, difficult in the oh, first yeah. start. Yeah. But you, you, when you kept going with it, it was just, like, second thing in you, like, waking up and doing uh, drinking water or something like that. It was easy for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um... And the thing is with enrichment, it's not just the music corridor, it is the whole college, which we obviously want to talk about. Recently, they started doing badminton lessons at the Stir Centre, which I believe John yeah, does. Yeah, I went there. It was great. Yeah? Yeah, it was, was it? great. It was a little bit like it was just me and someone else, but it was fun. We had the whole like space for ourselves. For one hour, and it was completely fine for how much time we had. I had to play with someone else, and it was great. I won. <laughs> but yeah. it was great, and I was thinking, because I wanted to stay about that, mm-hmm. maybe, like, in the near future, we if we did, like, like a competition with other, like, students to come to the badminton or other mm. kind of, like, sport to play so we can put other people like from other places like for in art or in, in like electricity yeah. or something yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like a competition between the courses, yeah. that'd be good, yeah. Um, another thing that they've got going on for enrichment on the 2nd of February is um, a bowling trip. It's £18 oh. pounds for two games, a meal and a drink. 
That's not you, too bad. Well, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, bad. Yeah, I believe that's a bit of a good bargain. Price. Um yeah, so that's great. It's really good that we've got lots going on for enrichment. If you have any suggestions for enrichment, you can see Megan, our enrichment officer. She's great. She will take everything into consideration, provided that it is reasonable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the next place I should probably talk about is the eHub. Um, it's very useful to everyone. Um, the books are great. Oh, I actually, sometimes I go back down there to the eHub and start like, studying for like, to finish my work, first of all. Mm-hmm. And when I have extra time, I just take a book and read it. Mm-hmm. They have some good books down there. Yeah, and the thing is, they take um, requests for books. If there's books in there that they that you like but they don't have, oh. they can order the books in, which I think is great. Um, and like you said, you can take the extra time out to study um, in the eHub, which I think is great. It's really good that the college is open to students. But I think it's between 9 to 5. Like every day, even if you're not like supposed to be in yeah. on that day, it's like you're not timetabled for today, are you, John? No, I wasn't. I but was just came you were here just to chilling study, yeah. in the e hub, <laughs> studying. It's the way to be, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great place. Yeah, so, I mean, uh, every lunchtime I always go there and sit, eat my food, and where I sit, there's tons of books. There's hundreds, all different genres. There's manga. There's history. It's probably a Bible there. <laughs> there is. <laughs> yeah, there is. Um, it's just great, you know. It's inclusive to all. And I think it recently had a reshuffle. There's the UCAS bit there as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, Tom's office yes, has been moved there. Right. So Tom, our careers advisor, um, who is, one, great, your man to go to if you need any help with stuff like CVs, UCAS applications, personal statements, things like that. Um while we're on the topic of UCAS, um, just a reminder for anyone who has their UCAS applications due, it's on the 26th of February. And if you need any help at all, Tom is probably your first port of call. Yes. Um, I yes. believe, Jake, you're probably more um, experienced with having yeah. a... Yeah, because he's, he's the man you go to. Uh, say if you want to go to uni once you finish this course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he's essentially the careers advisor. He will mm-hmm. talk you through the process. He will tell you about the funding, give you advice. Because um, with uni, you, you do have to bear in mind uh, the financial aspect of it because mm-hmm. it is it's not cheap. Mm-hmm. And even though you can pay it back in a student loan after you earn, I think it's 24000 a year. Mm-hmm. Even then, it's it's a lot of money. Yeah. So, yeah, if you do want some advice, I would go to Tom. He's very accommodating. He doesn't bite. And, yeah, <laughs> he's the man I would go to. Yeah, I believe mm. on the finance side of things as well, there is a student finance talk at Kent University on... Bear with. It's the 23rd. Uh Yeah. On the 23rd of February, there's a student finance talk um, at Kent University, which I think is great that the college are offering things like that. I think it's great as well because it is like an off-field trip to Kent University, which I imagine a lot of people here would like to go to because it's quite close to home. Yeah. um, Which I think is great. Another thing that the college had on recently this week was Blue Monday, which I think is great. Oh. Um, so basically, um, if you don't know what Blue Monday is, it's like um, when it gets the third Monday of January every year, it is thought to be the most depressing day of the year um, due to like financial stress of Christmas, maybe alcohol consumption and mm. stuff like that. Um, and the college offers support um, all year round. But they were quite pushing Blue Monday downstairs, especially in the eHub. They had a whole board with QR codes for things to go read and stuff like that. I think it's great that the college care a lot about kids, well, teenagers' mental health. um, Because it is such a big thing these days. And it's good that they're offering the help, whether it be with schoolwork or home life as well. I think it's great. I mean, it's it's an ever-increasing problem, uh, mental health, I think. Because, I mean, uh, look at the past couple of years, the lockdowns, a lot of isolation. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people on their own. And, it, you know, I can imagine 
that's sort of where mental health starts to manifest and sometimes people don't really have anyone to talk to Mm -hmm. so I think you know if you are in a position where you're not you know you're not feeling great it's very important to talk to someone you trust whether it be a a teacher uh, a friend or or just uh, online there's a lot of I guess you could say a lot of uh, mental health help uh, sites that uh, have volunteers that you know you, you can chat to them and just open up to them. That's that's really what you uh, you know if you are struggling, open up to someone. Yeah, hundred you know, percent. It it's important. Um, another thing, like to do with wellbeing, that the college is quite great with is in the cafe they offer like really healthy meals. They've started offering more healthy and nurturing meals rather than just pizza and chicken yeah. nuggets. Um, they've also started to offer a wide range of vegan options, which I think is great. Yeah, yeah um, actually it is. Yeah, because like I feel like nowadays, it's more often than not, um, people tend to be vegetarian or vegan. So yeah. I think it's great that the college are quite inclusive with things to do like that. Um, as well as that, the cafe do take suggestions. Like, if there's something that they don't offer for lunch or a snack, you can suggest it and they will try their best to make it possible, which I think is great. Um, What else is going on at the college at the moment? Another thing to do with health, actually. Um, Basically, um, they're offering heart screening days at Homewood School and Sixth Form Centre, purely because there's a lot of kids our age that, have undiagnosed heart problems Mm. um and basically it's a day where you can go and go along get checked up um it's totally free you can book it there's qr QR codes dotted around the college that you can book it with and which i think is really great that they're encouraging stuff like that yeah i mean undiagnosed health conditions they're very important that there's awareness to them such as this uh because they affect us in ways that we think are just just normal. You wouldn't you wouldn't think if it, you wouldn't think you would have anything wrong with you, but then if you go to places like this, they can bring awareness. Hey, you may have something wrong with your heart. We can deal with this. Yeah, it's better catching it early yeah. than something bad happening later on in your life. Yeah. Um, and also, I've been talking to a few people around the college. The college have been working with the green party the political party um to put on a sustainable fashion show oh which i think is really cool which i imagine john will be djing oh Oh, i'm gonna (laughs) dj on that um yeah so we're not entirely sure what the deal with it is we're not sure if it's a sustainable fashion show to support the green party and it is just like sustainable or if it's more like a trash and show that the secondary schools do like the secondary schools do it and um they like make dresses out of like milk bottles, milk lids, uh, plastic bags, newspapers, mm. stuff like that. I think it's really cool. That'd be amazing. It is. It's really great. It's a really cool <laughs> thing to do. It's a really creative thing to do as well. You must have to be like really creative yeah. to think of a way to make a dress out of a milk bottle. But um, yeah, speaking of, I, I imagine that will be the beauty students that are doing that beauty and art. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. Um, might be collaborating. Yeah, with a bit of a collab. But speaking of the beauty students. They are offering spray tans Woo! for fire. I mean, I can honestly say I don't think I will need a spray tan. Um, I don't think so either. I'm not, sure about, I'm not sure about you boys, but I'm, you I'm all good for spray tans at the moment. <laughs> you and me will should do it. You and me should do it. I mean, I'm quite pasty as it is. So, you know, I could well, do it with a good tan. <laughs> I don't, I don't John, think, I think so. you're good. Yeah, you've I'm got, fine. You've got a lovely tan. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're offering spray tans for five pound only on the twentieth, the twenty first, the twenty seventh, and the twenty eighth of February from ten thirty till twelve thirty p.m. And it's available for booking at the beauty salon. Um, in, in that a part, are they allowed to like other people from outside college to come? Yeah, I believe so. I think um, the beauty salon are starting to offer external like appointments now because before it was commercial so like people could actually come in and get their hair cut that don't go to the college and okay. like get their makeup done whatever I'm, I'm not entirely sure but it's not open at the moment purely yeah. for like covid and stuff like that oh, yeah. but i'm pretty sure 
Um, it is opening back up soon, which I think is great because it's such a good experience for the beauty students to have to be able to actually work with real clients, um, which I think is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, off the top of my head, I don't think there is much else to talk about today for today. However, um, in the coming episodes, we're going to have a topic of the week, um, which all three of us, um, all three of the hosts are going to be talking about. Um, and basically, if you guys see us about college, if there's anything that you want us to talk about at all, don't be afraid to come and talk to us. We don't bite. Um, and yeah, so also I'm going to be sending out a link to all of the tutors and basically it's going to be a survey to pick what our jinkle will be for the introduction to the spotlight um some of the music tech students have been working on it um and you guys get to pick and then you'll hear every day before the well every monday yeah the podcast is going to be every monday before the podcast starts you'll hear the little jingle and hopefully it will become recognizable so if there's anything that you want us to talk about at all again just let us know drop us an email anything like that at all thank you for listening to the ashford college spotlight podcast and we hope to see you next week bye bye Bye.